feed you mine. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a, no, take a seat. That's a, that's a chair. Take a seat right there, please. Your turn to die. I don't know why I, I'm... Uh, <laughs> why am I Chris Hansen all of a sudden? Welcome to another episode of Your Turn to Die. Death Game by Majority, Episode 3. If you... I'm telling you guys right now. Alright? And I know that so many people are missing out on the amazingness that is this game. Alright? If you are a fan of Danganronpa and the games like it, this game has got all the bases covered. It's a really good game, and it really brings some fresh air to the to the genre, I feel like. It's a messed up game. I really like it. So anyway, this is episode three. If you missed the last two, check them out. And if you like this series, you know, support it, play it yourself. I'll link it down below. It's free to play, after all. They killed my favorite character already in the game. I'm so, so mad. Now. Miss Now. You look pale, Miss Now. Professor. I, I feel like I'll never pass. Miss Now, what's the matter? Exams are a ways away yet, and I'm sure you'll be fine, Miss Now. I can't! If I fail, uh, what will I even do? Uh, please calm down. I'm busy driving. Maybe I'll swallow a bunch of mud and die! <laughs> it seems a little, little much there. It seems like you're quite concerned. Uh, Miss Now? To tell you the truth, I failed my college exams. You did? Professor? Yes, indeed. I had grades as good as everyone's, or anyone's, and a more or less serious lifestyle. I put in a perfectly good effort, at least I believed so. However, where some will pass, others will fail. There's nothing that could be done about it. And being more conceited than the average person, I lashed out at everything. However, people can always improve themselves. So Miss Now, what do you suppose gives people the impetus to improve? Um, pets, being in a new environment, uh, hobbies. They all do. These, if depending on your perspective, they can all make, you know, give you a reason to improve. I'm gonna go with pets because I love my dog. I see. Truly soothing. At times, even dealing with people can be hard. A pet can have a greater, greater insights and healing capabilities than a human. I feel that. I feel that crap, man. If not an animal, even a plant can do. A dependable partner of the heart. Well, in my case, it was time. It required an above average amount of time. But I regained the courage to face forward. And such is why now I enjoy my time with you and the rest of the class. Though I felt I gained happiness, the dream I had pictured did not come to pass. But the, re the reality I found was much more like a dream. Professor, there is nothing to fear in failure. A person's life does not end there. As long as you live on, happiness will surely come to you. Until we got freaking murdered! I'm so mad, man. Okay, so that's showing their connection. Great. Professor Mishima is dead because of our votes. Despair falls over us. <laughs> we keep our distance. Now alone sits near Professor Nishima. Uh, how could I uh, sort out these feelings? I can't think of anything uh, to say to now. Dude, he was so cool, man. All right, well, I guess we leave. That was a rough episode. Suddenly, as I look towards the exit. Yeah, where's the doll girl at? Dang it, she got us! Miss Sarah, look at this! Sal slowly uh, closed the door to the room. There's a message here. Read it, Miss Sarah. The second trial, practice round. This is a practice for the main game. The start is signaled by the doll's revival. Follow instructions and hold the majority vote. The one with the most votes is to be sacrificed. So it was actually posted on the door and they just didn't read it. However, this is a practice round. If the votes comes to a draw, the game is forfeit. That's why you read. It could save your life. What? The second trial, it's named just like that first one we did. We never noticed this note. Well, when you open the door, oh. Dang it, it's all because I said to keep the door open in case there was danger. We were clearly led into doing so. This room had an ominous air even before entering. It's pink, I know. The game's forfeit if it's draw? Then don't tell me. If everyone had gotten the same votes, then there'd be no victim. Is that right? You're kidding me. So he died for nothing? My, my guy over here is jacked, man. <laughs> I would not mess with him. He's got Pac-Man on his shirt, too. It was an avoidable trap if he would just check the door. Professor Mishima. I'm worried about now. Hey, but... Because of Danganronpa, I am skeptical of the first person dying. They could be the mastermind behind it all and we wouldn't know it. Right? Especially when they're the first ones to die. 
You always got to be sus of the first person to die. You never know if they're going to pull a saw thing on you. Oh, I got to talk to now again? <phone rings> Professor! This is just a lie, right? Professor? Oh. Is he on the ground or did she stand him up? Did she stand him up? I am so confused right now. Please, get up. You can't do this. Everyone's worried. Professor? Now weakly shook Professor... P Professor Mashima's body. Oh. And his scorched fragile neck fell. Professor? See what I mean, guys? See what I mean? This game's freaking crazy. No, don't touch that. Meow, the old guy. Is it? Okay, you're still you're still committed to this bit of being a freaking dog or a cat or wherever the heck you are. Alright, have some respect, Gein. Uh, don't look at Gein. Stay away. I'm thinking it's Gein. I don't know. I could be wrong. Dang it. What the heck? Who voted for Mishima? Not me. It really wasn't me. I love that dude. Shut up, you eyesore. I mean, it's because of the votes he... It's always possible everyone voted for someone sides themselves, uh, you know? Settle down now. Listen, everyone, don't do any probing into each other's votes, but it was obviously an accident. We voted without knowing a thing. No one had any ill will. <laughs> and uh, we don't know yet. You know that, right, Sarah? I, KG's right. I feel like he's right. We shouldn't talk about the votes, Joe. Sarah. I got it. Just let me be alone for a sec. Well, how is he like? He seems more affected than she did. And the others, some left, some stayed. They all began to scatter their own ways. He's got to be that that cool anime character that just like is off to the side, you know, just watching. I'm just watching. Gein, I know how you feel, but you shouldn't be here. Just a little longer. It was just a little bit, but we were searching together. Yeah, that's right. They were in the bar. KG, I like KG so far, but I don't know if I could trust him yet. Still. Everyone went outside, huh? They all need time to think right now. So do you, Sarah. And me too, of course. I'm sure everyone will come back. Well, they better. We gotta get out of here. Right, let's go to the cafeteria. Is anyone in there? Yeah, we need to know more about Kai. He, he was the stalker? It is locked. Perhaps there's nothing to be done. Kai, uh, what are you plotting? Now that isn't very nice. I just want to cook for everyone, that's all. Granted, I doubt there are any ingredients in the kitchen. How stingy. Is this person really my stalker? I thought if he was a stalker, he'd be with kidnappers. But when he hit Miley, I sensed an undeniable hosti host hostility. Kai was angry. Miss Sarah? Uh, Kai, are you... What? What the heck is that? The lights! Miss Sarah, are you alright? I'm fine. It may be a trap. Let us look for the switch. Well, there's obviously something there. Uh, let's look closely at it. There are glowing letters using fluorescent paints. They're on some sort of paper. Flashbacks. <laughs> oh, what the heck? It's a card. The one who claims this. This now belongs to you. Keep it on you always. This is a key to the exit. Let no one else know the existence of this card. Otherwise, you will die. What is this? Miss Sarah, are you unharmed? I hit the card before I could even think. I'm okay. Looks like lights come on. I, I have nothing. Don't check my pockets. And him being the stalker, he's gonna be like looking at her cheeks all the time, you know? Let us look at the other rooms. Let's see if anything occurred in that moment. Uh, look at the card text. Look on the back. On the back of the card was a strange image of a... something like a key. <laughs> key master? The other text seemed to disappear, so what does the key master mean? If I don't follow these rules, I'll die? I feel like I'm being led to uh, to them or by them again. Yeah, well, I mean, when you have no other reason to, to not believe them, then, you know, I would just, I would just believe them. Let's go to the central hall. What is that? Oh, a staircase. The heck? Is this another trap? I'm assuming there's going to be multiple floors and we just got to go to the next floor. Can I click it? Oh, no, I got to talk to everyone first. Look, Miss Sarah, there uh, are stairs here now. Wonder why, where they lead. I don't know, but... Uh, Miley left a few spots of blood. I'm sure she went up there. Miley? Did anyone else go up? I only just got here, so I don't know. Has anyone gone missing? I can't imagine anyone would go up the stairs on their own, but... You aren't thinking of going up there, are you, Miss Sarah? I'm telling you for your own good. You should refrain for now. More importantly, there's something I want to show you. Come back to the cafeteria, please. Ah, so. I wonder what he wants to show me. Now when this get here? Don't tell me these stairs lead up to the... Uh, probably the main grounds. 
Uh, I don't know about that, but whatever the case, we, uh, bet we gotta go. It's just gonna be a trap anyhow. What do you think, Sarah? Everyone's on edge right now. If we go, we should get everyone together first. But you heard about the main game, right? We're gonna pick one of us to die? Of course I don't want to take part in it, but how are we supposed to feel any unity? Yeah, so how is this gonna be? Is it gonna be sort of like a, like a tr class trial situation? You might have a point, or does everyone literally just have to come up to a freaking conclusion of someone dying for whatever reason? That's gonna be insane. Especially when there's no real logic. Well, there's probably gonna be logic, but like, how do you, ch how do you decide someone has to die? Unless someone like, you know, you know, raises their hand. It's like me, but I don't know. What if they don't? All right, I'm gonna wait. Gonna try and believe in you. We'll go up here when everyone's assembled. Anybody tries to go up on their own, I'll catch them, but good. Okay, please don't be rough, okay? Right, so it told me to come here, but... Miss Sarah, this way, this way, I'm over here. What, so, is that you? I held the lighter in that direction of his voice. Oh, another door! To this, to think this was here. Ooh, dark, isn't it? There's only one light from that stand. What did you want to show me in this place? Check what's on the desk. Obviously, it's a laptop. I know what that is. Very intriguing, right? I did try starting it up, but there's no power cord, but it seems to be running on battery power. So once the battery's dead, it's over. Want to investigate what's on it, but... Oh yeah, let's, let's go, come on. Could be a trap, sure, but <laughs> I'm not gonna not do it. About that. This laptop is locked with a password. So you can't see what's stored on it? I tried some random passwords, but all I accomplished was draining the battery. You got any ideas? Someone's name, the kidnapper's organization... Probably, I don't know, it could be anything. Ah, that's a possibility. And if it opens with someone's name, there's a good chance there's the laptop's owner. But if it's a name we don't know, there'd be no way for us to learn it. It'd be best if we could just conveniently find a piece of paper with a password. Now that would be a trap. Yeah. If we just had a hint. A uh, hint, huh? Maybe this is a hint from the kidnappers. What do you mean? There's probably information on here that's valuable to us, but worthless to them. Solve the riddle and we'll generously give it out if you can't. It doesn't matter to us. Like that. And we can't see it once the battery goes dead, so it's like a time limit treasure chest. That's interesting. I can't see them being that kind. Okay, I'm gonna stay here and work on figuring out the password, Miss Sarah. Tell me if you find any clues. I shouldn't get too hopeful. But I need to have hope. HOPE! I keep my head up! Until the battery runs out, maybe Silva will be able to keep his head up too. Okay, so there's books. There might be a meaning to the ordering of the books though. KG came came here too? All seems a little bit irrelevant right now. You would think that we'd be able to talk to KG because he said they said that he went in there, but let's go to the bar. Surely there's someone in there. What are they doing over here? Having a little chat? Uh here, wipe off with this. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, dink puppet. As if you even got a change of clothes. You two. Kinda looked at me with a very surprised eyes. They weren't the trusting eyes she had before. I lied to Kana. Because of that lie, I deeply wounded Kana's heart. Sister killer, it's all because Miley said that awful thing. Hey Sarah, you think you could look for something Kana could wear? No problem. Well, I mean, what, what was I supposed to tell her? I mean, it would be, it would be, un it would be wrong to say, say it so bluntly like that. Obviously we're not evil. Oh man, he's at the bar too. <laughs> Joe sits alone hanging his head. Uh, let's talk to him. Joe, can we talk a little? Jeez, didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I guess I'm just nosy. Now, it's kind of calming here somehow. Wonder why, I've never had a drink in my life. Don't lie, don't lie, you went to parties. Hey Sarah, do you really think KG's a cop? Uh, Joe, have you been doubting it the whole time? I mean, I just wanted your opinion, Sarah. I... Okay, d do I really think he's a cop? I mean, he says it, and that's the only reason I can believe that he's a cop. But other than that... You know, do I really know? And will these choices actually have, a, uh, like an outcome? I'll just say I think he's a cop because there's no reason to, to not believe it yet. I'm a loser, aren't I? Just a little difference in opinions got me uneasy. Me? I can't think there's someone t uh, siding with kidnappers among that bunch. Huh? Now that's strange. Wasn't Joe the first one to suggest that there was? But the more I try to believe, the more suspicious I get. Listen, Sarah. Could you look into KG a little? Me? Nah, sorry, yeah, pretend I never asked. Well, he did go into the laptop room. Maybe he was trying to get in it. Because he wants to believe he suspects. One thing's for sure, it's better if we know more about each other. For my own survival, too. Sarah? It's- it's nothing. 
Uh, what am I thinking? Leave it to me, Joe. So, oh, she was having some selfish thoughts. Okay. You serious? Don't push yourself too too much, Sarah. Okay, well, I don't I think we've talked to everyone. I don't know what else to do. Oh wait, the names on the blackboard. Yeah, lots of random names, huh? I have a feeling this is gonna be part of a puzzle. Oh. When did she get in here? What? Kinda sitting in the chair. This is a doll? I can't see the parts hidden under clothes, but everything seems disturbingly detailed. On the doll's hand is written, please use as you wish. As I wish. Take off the clothes. Oh. Wait. Well, we should do that, but I also want to kind of try moving it. It's heavy. Probably as heavy as the actual person. Not much I can do. I'll just borrow the clothes. Stripped off the doll's clothes. All right. Oh, wait. That was it. That was... That was a doll? I didn't realize. I thought she was in there. Then we found the doll. Yeah, where are the other dolls? What the heck? Okay. I was wondering how she got in there. <laughs> Even if it's a doll, it feels awkward to just leave it here. I placed the can of doll uh, in a discreet spot. Sorry, Miss Doll. <laughs> what? Well, okay, we found that. Let's go get in the can of, can of, can of. I mean, it's just so convenient, isn't it? Sarah, you found anything Kana could wear? I found this in the blue room. Isn't this the same exact uniform? Creepy, why the heck did they got stuff like this prepared? Thank you very much. She looks even more feeble. Um. Speak gently. I'm gonna put my hand on her back. It's a, it's a kind gesture. Kana. I knew she was gonna do that. Hey, Kana, easy now. What's up? I'm sorry. Please don't be nice to me anymore. I'm afraid of having hope. It's exactly what they want! It's exactly what they want! Kana went running off. Sarah, what's the deal? Um, explain the lie told with Mishima. Let's do that. I'm scared. I'm sure Rika will tell me I should have told the truth then, but I- I mean, no, I don't think anyone would really say that. Sarah, look me in the eye. Don't sit there and brood over crap. Talk to me, or are you just gonna not listen to what I say? I understand. Mishima said that? It's Joe's fault. It's Joe's fault! It's all Joe's fault! I'm just gonna say it's my fault, because I feel like that's the right thing to say. Why would I blame it on someone else? Cut it out, don't say that crap! Did you mean to hurt her? Of course not, right? Sure, Mishima was the first to lie, and I don't know if that was right or not. But guess what? There was hope in Kana's eyes. You know how hard it is to show hope to a person whose heart's been snapped? Dang it, why? Why did I go call in Mishima a nutty professor? Guess it ain't fair to decide he's no good just because he's a man. I get the snitch now. I'll back Kana up, Sarah. It's what we do now that's important, right? Yes. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! The Red Room! Lights again! What? He went in the picture! I don't think that was there! What in the world is happening? Oh, call out for someone, yeah. Is someone there? I'm uneasy- I'm uneasy about, uh, acting alone. I might want to head back for now. I turned around and found the door had shut. Oh, no. It won't open. I've been locked in! That's not good. Notes of some kind are scattered about. 66 Alice, 5.3... Okay, what does it mean? Professor Mishima's name is on this along with some people I don't know. Like what, test scores or something? Alice Yab Yabusame? I'll hold on to this. Obtain torn paper. A candle? There are books on the bookcase. The covers look proper, but they're all blank on the side. Okay, maybe we can use the light on the candle. Ah, I'm so smart. Oh. Oh, no! Don't light candles! A large teddy bear. Shoot it! <laughs> Shoot it with the gun! It's a bottle, there's water inside. Oh, obtained a bottle. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, it's bleeding eyes! Oh, no! I was gonna say da 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 da, because you know Zelda, bottle of water. A red liquid leaks from the teddy bear's eyes. He cries. That's Winnie the Pooh's sad cousin. Oh, it's not exactly, it's not exactly polite, but I'll step on the books to get to the top. 28? It stopped at 28.75. Alright, let's look inside. Obtain two needles. There are large, they are large and long. Okay, so we got needles. What could the needles be for? I kind of feel bad for it. Do I have anything to wipe it with? Don't tell me the paper. The bear's tears stopped. Uh, something came out of his mouth. Oh, it actually worked. Obtained a tool, a flathead screwdriver. What? Who designed this puzzle? 
Okay, so we need to use the screwdriver for this. Okay, open the box. There's another tool. Obtained a tool Allen wrench. Oh, no. Oh, what the heck? A red liquid drips on onto the floor. Who is doing this? Who's got this red paint? Oh, the needles were- Oh, God, it's the clock hands. Okay, duh. Got it. Oh, so do we need to put it? Wait, I don't know where to put it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so it stopped at 28.75. Um, what could that mean? I'm gonna try 4.15. See if that works. I think that- I don't know. I'm just- I think- I'm just guessing here. I don't know if my logic is right. 4... Crap, what did I say? <laughs> oh, 4.15. I can't do that. So it's not military time because military time only goes to 24. I need four different tools to remove the painting. What kind of crap is that? Oh, I can use the tool on that. I guessed. Yeah. A red liquid spreads beneath the floor. If I pour water to increase the water volume, something floated to the top? What kind of puzzle is this? Okay. Obtained a tool, nail puller. Nail puller. That sounds very unsettling. Can I use it on this? Okay, no, I gotta figure out this thing and then I'll probably get the last tool. Okay. What does 2875 mean? The digital- oh, it's giving me hints. Thank God. The, I need it. I need it. The digital clock in the bookcase is showing 2875. But if you display 28 o'clock on an analog clock, it would be 4. That's what I said. Okay, so it's gonna be 4 and it was gotta guess the other time. 75 minutes converts to 1 hour and 15 minutes. Oh, so is it 5.15? Oh my god! <laughs> Technically, I- okay, I, gu I guessed it, I guessed it. Oh, I'm so glad it helps me. I was like, what do I do? But wait, no, that's the same- that's the problem! We can't do 5.15! So 5 and then 2? Is it 2? What? Oh, 3, it'd be 3. <sighs> so stupid. I'm so smart! <laughs> As the pendulum started to move, something stuck outside and fell out. Alright, so we got the, we got everything we get we need for this. Let's reach into our toolbox here. The corners of the frame are held by screws. Yeah, 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 we know. Remove the painting. A locker? The wall. Of course there's a hidden wall. A single tall locker. Open it? Of course. I'm getting a bad feeling. Calm down, Sarah. Oh no. I'll open it! Of course you will. Who's that? <laughs> it looks like the guy from Tokyo Ghoul! Man. <laughs> Help! What? What? Um... What should I do? Help him. Are you alright? He's not conscious. What do I do? Should I run before he wakes up? I can't. I don't know if he's a good person, but he's said help. Then I'll take him with me. At great length, I got the man on my shoulder. Thanks, Sarah. Sarah's strong. It doesn't, he doesn't seem to be hurt, but I should be delicate. This is going to be surprising to the others. He clearly walked in there, right? Ah, Sarah. Wait, what the? What's that? He suddenly fainted as, saw, as soon as he saw me. Joe, give me a hand. I uh, got it. Let's ca carry him to the others. That was the plan. Hey, what the heck's with that guy? He lost consciousness. I don't know nothing. Have someone who'd know check him, uh, check him out. Uh, who's the doctor? Uh, Sarah, is that? Huh? The heck's this about? The guy on your shoulder. Lend me a hand, please. You see? I told them what happened in the red room. Relax, he just fainted. Uh, what in the world is this guy? Or who is he? He's got a collar. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Let's tie him up. <laughs> Probably should tie him up. You don't miss a beat, Sarah. We'll tie him with whatever we got available. It'll be hard to figure out his situation until he wakes up. As long as he doesn't move, should be fine. Once he's up, let's leisurely question him. As I felt a bit relief, my attention unavoidably, unavoidably turned towards the situation in the room. Uh, Keiji? Are, are now and Gin still... Yeah, still the same as ever. They haven't moved, it, moved an inch. Hurts me to see, too. Keiji, shouldn't you... Leave? <laughs> Might want to investigate? Well, yeah. It's hard, but someone's got to do it, and I just, just happen... And I just so happen to be a pro. Though this is my first time investigating a body I once talked to. Is it hard for you after all? Dummy? Uh, dummy, now has got a, a million times worse. Losing someone she respects, man. Um, is there someone you respect, KG? Maybe there was. Of course he'd be that, that character. The 
heck? A message for those in the room. Please exit the room quickly to allow for retrieval of the corpse. Retrieval of the corpse? Don't be ridiculous! I won't give you the professor- I won't give the professor to anyone! Defiance will not be tolerated. <laughs> Beginning fog to submit- <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I should read it in Monokuma's voice. Oh god, they're gonna put us to sleep again. That gas again! No! Stop! Please! The professor isn't dead at all! He's dead. And put- oh wait. He put his head in the box? What's in the box? What are you doing? You shouldn't be doing that! Please get out of my way! Now I'll brush the others aside and took off running. Why is she doing that? Now this is no good. Sarah, Joe, let's give him- let's give chase! <laughs> Who says that? Please, now has lost her cool, so treat her carefully. She's clearly not sane. Uh, where'd she go? No wait, did she go up the stairs? Ah, oh, come on. Well, we gotta get the game going, right? After all. We gotta get the game going. Uh, Q Taro isn't here? He probably went chasing after her, I'm- I'm assuming. That's what he said he was gonna do. Did he go to the second floor? What do we do? Uh, I'll search the second floor. Yeah, let's do that. No way! What if she's on the first floor? I'll search down here. You two look upstairs, please, KG. Gotcha. Come back right away if you find yourself. Well, then why'd you give me the option? Huh? Oh, this is the second floor, huh? Lots of doors. Where could she have gone? Uh, well, let's check one. The sp door. <laughs> okay, let's go to the... This one. What the heck is this? She's not here? It's a bathhouse, okay. A statue of what looks like a penguin. I'm not a penguin. What? <laughs> it talked! The spa is full of warm water. Uh, wanna take a dip? Fill the bottle. Let's fill the bottle. Oh wow, it's just like Zelda. Can we actually take a dip? I must resist for now! Ugh. Ugh. Let's go to the second floor landing? Oh, uh, you probably missed something. So it stands for spa, I see. What? Gin? Big sis, Sarah. Tell me, I was looking for big sis now. An iron cage, how can we? Oh, I wouldn't go touching that. Ooh! Gin! It's sinking lower and lower. It Stop saying woof. I can't take you seriously, even while you're in danger. <laughs> I'm scared. Help me, big sis. Think, I have to think. Uh, destroy the cage. Destroy it all. Uh, lift the cage together? Please, hold the other side. Oh, that ain't working. Let me out of here! The cage stopped, completely buried in the ground. It's not budging. What should I... There, maybe? Oh, a ladder! Yep, it's a ladder. This way, Sarah. How would he know that? That's a little sus guy, KG! Oh, what the heck is this? Are you okay? A green switch. Shouldn't go carelessly touching anything else. <laughs> oh, imagine if it let me actually, like, press it. I'm lousy with machines. Something's written here. Bird cage game. Free the bird hostage in the cage. Hold down the green switch to raise output to maximum. Don't let your guard down. Wicked masks will come kill those pressing the switch. Shine holy light on the masks and wait for an opportunity to keep holding. Uh, so we just have to hold this button down. If, if masks appear, let go and shine holy light. Wonder what that means. There's a flashlight below this machine. Oh, that'd be our holy light. Picked up the flashlight. Oh. Should I press it? Uh... What? Looks like it's starting. Oh! Oh! E! Get back! Oh, oh, I have to fly. Okay, okay. This isn't that hard. Okay, it's not click them. It's like red light, green light, basically, but just more scary. What happens if I just hold it? We gotta see. Oh! <laughs> she didn't even fall in. I just got jump scared. Alright, uh, try to get me. Phew. Can he be free now? I keep forgetting that's a guy. Well, the flashlight stopped working too. Oh well. Gin, can you open it up and come out? Gin? I bet that was scary. It's okay now. Uh, KG picked up the trembling uh, Gin and set him down. Big sis, Sarah. Gin, I dove into my chest. Gin, it's okay. It's okay. Now, let's go. 
All right. Well, that was very weird. But let's go. No, now, huh? Seems the second floor was a bust. We haven't finished checking, KG. I just hoped uh, Joe found her on the first floor. Speaking of Joe, right, I made him that promise. Try probing KG. Um, yeah. Even policemen get uh, bad luck sometimes, huh? Sure isn't great, is it? Maybe I'll have to retire. I guess he'll just dodge the question if I beat around the bush. Now, come to think of it, KG, earlier you said there was someone you looked up to. Did I say that? Yes, you did. You did. You most definitely did. Do you not want to talk about it? You really are as sharp as a tech. Was means it was someone in the past. I absolutely need to know. I want to know more about you, KG. Now, is that strange? Trying to evade the question again? <sighs> Got it. I'll do this. If we survive that main game thing, I'll tell you. So you're saying we're really going to do the main game? That'd be easy to avoid. These people aren't going to allow that. And once it begins, everyone will be serious. And myself, I don't want to die either. KG, I definitely won't lose. Yes, we gotta be confident here, okay? I'll defeat everyone else and win! <laughs> You're sounding like a real psycho, Sarah. Yeah, I don't know if I would've put it like that, but okay. Uh, bet it'd make things easier to act that way, like you don't feel any emotion. And ignoring anything foolish like fellowship. Maybe we'll all come to hate each other. But if you survive regardless and you're still curious about me, I'll be fine with telling you and, and you alone. Hey, everyone just loves Sarah. I'll definitely look for a way to sidestep the main game. Right. There's gotta be a way. All right, let's go to the mirror room. It's probably mirrors. I, I knew it. I knew there's gonna be something like that. Well, I don't know if these are mirrors or not. That looks like a gun. A painting of a hand holding a gun. Nothing much on the back. Take the painting. Let's take all the paintings. A man shot. Oh. Okay, flip to the backside. Okay, take painting. I'm gonna assume that this one, the right, goes on. I'll put that there. A sparkling mirror that reflects me. My hair's a little messed up. Okay, what about this one? An ice sculpture. An ice sculpture? What is that doing here? Flowers are arranged in the vase. Take one. Alright, you know how we do. We gotta collect everything. A spray bottle. Take it all. Puddle in the floor. So it's like these rooms are supposed to be the same. Huh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take this. Let me put it right here, though. Scales tip to the right. Move weight to the other side. Was there a sound of movement in the other room? Let's go to this room. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Wait, what? There's, I, there's something at the bottom of the bath. Obtained a bath stopper. Okay. Okay, we haven't checked this room either. Another... What? Oh, this must be the guy side. Okay, fill the bottle. Oh, it's already filled. Huh, maybe we could put the stopper on here or something stupid? I freaking guessed, I freaking guessed. Okay, it's balanced perfectly, just like it should be. Okay, we're gonna put this here again. Wait, there's a wallpaper on the window, tear it off. Okay, maybe we need to put liquid here. Pour the hot water on it. Oh, okay, can we spray this on that? Hey, I'm getting the hang of this. All right, so what's missing? Oh, we need to take one of the flowers from there and put it here. Okay, okay, okay. Put that here. Okay, what are we missing? Wait, can we put this guy on here? No? So I'm missing a painting of some sort. Oh, wait, no, it does work. What? Oh, it's so it's okay. <laughs> I did a good thing! <laughs> it makes sense now. Okay. Didn't think that was gonna happen. That's a smart little thing. Now we just need this light thing. How do we how do we move it? Oh, it's dark now. Are the lights out? That's strange. <gasps> oh so? So was lying face down in the darkness. Ah! It's okay, he's breathing. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself. So his body's limp. Sarah, check the surroundings. Right. Again, could you look outside the room? There is an imposter among us. Oh, and the laptop is gone. Check under the desk. While looking under the desk, I saw a green glow toward the back. Oh, not another one. It's a familiar card. Kenji again aren't looking this way. Uh, flip over the card. I grab the card. Sacrifice. Sarah? 
I quickly returned the card to where it was. So? You've come too! Did he see that? Ow, did I pass out? You got whacked in the back of the head. Doesn't seem to have caused bleeding though. That's awful. Who would do that? I've been had. The laptop's gone. It must have been stolen. Did you see what was on it? I didn't figure anything out. Not the password or what the data what data was on it. Oh well. It must have been inconvenient for someone so somebody used the confusion to steal it. Somebody on the first floor. Who could that be? No, let's all meet up. We'll round everyone up. We should take the time to start sorting things out. I agree. Uh, is there someone bad among us? I don't know what's going on. Hey, Miss Sarah. Were you looking at something earlier? Uh, 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 uh deny it. No! <laughs> I wasn't looking at anything. I see. <laughs> it's like, you freaking liar. Okay, so these cards, these cards are probably, we, we're like collecting the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. How, when did the lights come on? Miss Sarah, company. Kai? Well, he's got these ladles in a pan. He's actually got a pan. That could, that, that should be easily considered as a weapon. Uh, yes, I am Kai. Is something the matter? Yeah, we were just talking about all meeting up. Come to think of it, Joe was saying to come gather in the bar. Uh, the lights are restored, so at least I can move. Shall we all get, go together? Okay, so the bar it is. Joe, did you find now? She wasn't on the second floor? You mean she up and vanished? Oh no. Looking around the room, I found almost everyone, but now I had already assembled. Just what is going on? Oh uh, well, now everyone calm down. Um, it, who is the person tied up here? <laughs> Such an annoying bunch. Oh, what the heck? Is this Puri Puri prisoner? <laughs> Mixed with a Jojo character? Because that's what he looks like. You know, I thought I had crazy hair, but this guy takes the cake. You all plus this now makes everyone, right? I don't know. Hey, you woke up. Remove these ropes so as long as you don't want me to crush you. This guy's a little, uh, riotous? That's troublesome. All chicken, are you? I might have brought in someone dangerous. Talk to him, obviously. Um, do you have a second? Um, hmm, you. Wait, what? Why is she walking around freely? Hurry, someone capture her! Who? What's this all of a sudden? I know, oh yes I do, this girl is bad news. Calm down, could you start at the beginning? And could you drop the weird tone of yours? Look at me, getting so disconcerted. Is this guy playing a joke on us? Listen, we don't have time to spend on you. But I'll allow a little time for inquiries. We'll decide whether to untie you after that. Say again? Uh, don't try to act super superior, blonde rascal. <laughs> what? Why does he talk like Ralph? Scary, you handle the questioning, Sarah. Whoa, I'm doing that too? Mr. Policeman's shaking over here. Talk to me whenever you're ready. Okay, you ready? I am ready. Okie dokie, then we'll begin. Oh, it's a game! Questioning. Just so it's clear, me and you are equals. Don't think I'll obediently listen to you. This guy definitely looks really cool though, I will admit that. Alright, let's be, let's be, it's gonna, we're gonna play, uh, good cop, bad cop, and we're gonna start with bad cop. Threat. I need to be forceful. Threaten hotly and emotionally, threaten coolly and logically. Let's go hotly and emotionally. This conversation isn't getting anywhere! Please say something! <laughs> Literally haven't said anything to him. Yeah, it's so hot tempered all of a sudden, you just want me to talk, right? Seems he's willing to talk now. Wow, inquire. What should I ask him? What's your name? Please tell me your name. It's proper for you. Uh, it's proper for you to give your name first. <laughs> give me your name and I'll give you mine. I'm Sarah Ch Chidoin. Just Sarah's fine. I am. Go. Gonbi Yamada. Call me Gonbi. <laughs> Gonbi. Swole. Uh, swoon. Old-fashioned name. As if yours isn't Cupertero Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's Qtaro uh, Bergenberg to you! <laughs> Gonby, huh? Gonby! Reminds me of Baby from Jimmy Neutron. Alright, let's do some more inquiring. What is your occupation, huh? <laughs> Prisoner, probably? My occupation is, uh, well, I'm a salaryman. <laughs> Dressed like that? Ugh. <sighs> That looks like a prison uniform. You fool! Japanese uniforms don't use this pattern, and the pajamas are vertically be vertically striped. You sure are knowledgeable on the subject. <laughs> Why you- was that a trap? Um, this person seems quite tiring. Wow, even getting told by Kai. True, I was in prison for a somewhat long time after borrowing from people a bit too much. Uh, larceny then. 
Surely even you've accidentally perma-borrowed a video game or two, right? That said, I was doing my time diligently as a model prisoner. You know, I have accidentally stole a candy bar. Literally one time I just- I, I- I walked in a store and I've told this before. Had it in my hand and I walked out without even realizing that it was in my hand. Like, you ever just hold something for so long you forget it? I was walking around the store then I just walked out. And I went back in because I had a guilty conscience. And yet suddenly I was brought to this place. So even this person is a victim. I know his name and occupation now. I'll try something else. Why were you hiding? Why were you hiding? Why were you like that? How much do you want to mock me or mean to mock me? Oh, we have to pacify him. He's mad. I need to call him down. I ask for him. Ask him for his say. Is there something you want to say to us? Untie these ropes quickly, pig face. <laughs> so mean. Uh, crocodile tears. Yes, it's no use. I went too far. <laughs> you feel sorry? This guy's funny. Hey, would you talk to me? I knew those were fake tears. No, I won't. Seems I need a little something more. He seemed to respond to anger, so we need to slap him around some more. Let's be calmly. Can't you be calm, Mr. Gonby? I'm always calm. I'm not your enemy. Can we start stop arguing? True. All it does is make us more hungrier. Yet I don't care for these methods. It's no. This is no equal conversation. I need to make another push. All right. You're, you're, I'm bringing out the big guns. You're gonna make me get serious. Threaten coolly and logically. You want your ropes untied, right? You know what I'm trying to say, don't you? Hmm, a threat? I mean, you meant no hostility. Host, host, hostility. Flip your thinking. If your positions were swapped, Gonby, do you think you'd untie me? Very well. I suppose I could tell you a little more. Ooh, that's some logic right there. Surprisingly, he seems to recognize he's dubious. I'm glad he feels like talking. Do you know the kidnappers? Are you one of the kidnappers? I have zero information. Before I was brought here, I had rare plans for a visitation. But when I entered the visiting visita visi visiting room, no one came. By the time I started to find it odd, my senses were already fading. When you think about it, that's astounding. The organization behind this can free a prisoner? If Gonby is telling the truth, at least. Okay, let's just speak calmly. I think that's all we can do now. Hey, didn't I say I talk? He got mad at me. Well, I already... Why are you hiding? When I awoke, I thought to myself, yikes, this is a big yikes indeed. Some vocabulary on this guy. <laughs> a speaker uh, said something about a trial, but it was all foolish. I had already committed myself to hiding. I locked the red door and lay in wait for a long time, just like a tiger waiting for its prey. <sighs> so he got scared and holed up. However, several times I did hear nearby sounds too dreadful for this world. What were they? But don't try to feign in innocence. Just put your hand on your chest and think. Has Gonby gotten some uh, misinformation about me? What I'm most curious about so far is those sounds. If I can confirm what they are, it might tell me a reason for his attitude. Sounds? What exactly did you hear? That faint ignorance, how it annoys me. Oh, we gotta do this again. Right, we gotta use some more threats. Hotly and emotionally, once again. This is going nowhere! If you don't answer me properly, I'll do something terrible to you! Something terrible? Do you really have the guts? Maybe I lack the intimidation for this. Go get that- uh, if you want him to talk, go get that chalkboard up there and start scratching it. You've talked to me some, but if you won't tell me the important parts, I can't untie you. Too bad. Awful. Then just do what you please. I can't make him too angry. Alright, pacify. Can't you be calm, Mr. Gonby? I tire of this approach. He won't entertain me. Let's keep pacifying. Sarah Chidoin, how many have you laid hands on? What do you mean? I know your crimes, it's no use playing dumb. Don't be so pompous about it. Pompous about it. it. Seems like I need a little something more. Will you assist us? We're in the same situation. Will you help us? Fool. Obviously, I won't help a dangerous girl like you. He's pretty weary. Then I'll cut just a little bit off your ropes. Okay, we're getting somewhere. What's the point if they're not untied? He's starting to show signs of talking. Oh, inquire. Will you assist us? Ah, dang it. I'm trying to get him to talk. Wait, what? Oh, you can punch him? <laughs> You can hit him in the nuts! That was an accident! Not that hurt, don't punch me, okay? Ah, yeah, you're real tough now, aren't you? Oh, I'll do this, okay. Yeah, so I was angry at him again. You had to do it in the right order, okay. Do what? Don't tell me, you'll shoot? Hold on, haste makes waste. You know? I'll tell you, what do you wish to know? Alright, I can finally ask him. What are the sounds? The sounds of a gunfight. Say what? My ears caught it. Nine gunshots. Oh. As many as nine people died. That would have been Russian roulette. I waited for the shots to cease and opened the door to see the situation. 
And there she stood, the killer wielding a gun. And she stubbornly chased me. Sarah Chidoin, it was you. So you were scared and hid, got into panic because of the gunshots and saw Sarah with a revolver, foamed at the mouth and fainted. Don't give such a bias summary, guys. The more I learn, the more unfortunate he seems. But I can't imagine he's a villain. Okay, will you assist us? Did you hear what I said? Who would assist the likes of... I told him our story, story so far and about the Russian roulette game. Say again? So all this was a misunderstanding caused by uh, my two superior insights? Uh, yes, that's right. Understood. Untie me. You gotta help us. You're all fools. Who would assist someone they don't even know after hearing something about the main game? Someone among you will surely turn traitor and only soft fighter fools will die. It can't only be me thinking that, correct? He's got a kind of a point. Wait, Joe, what are you doing? Joe removed uh, Gonby's ropes. Oh, is this meant to be? I've given up on suspecting all my allies. My allies. I just can't imagine it. There's... That there's a bad guy among us. Given up on thinking, huh? What do you know about these people? Well, yeah, I don't know anything, but it's what my heart says, so what else can I do? Oh, he's... Okay, he's one of those guys. I'm not smart anyhow, so I'm gonna believe in this feeling. Hmm, you say such cheesy things. Oh well, as a thanks for untying me, I'll let you go without retaliation. So, no will... So, no will to help out? I refuse, but I won't interfere so long. <laughs> okay... Man, being called cheesy sure is making me embarrassed. In contrast to Joe's feeling awkward, the mood seemed to be lightning. It felt like we could be unified again. But I couldn't forget. The person with Taxo is out there. Now then, should we go search for it now all together? Yeah, that's it. Let's put up for uh let's put up and search. Sorry, I'm still not feeling great. Is it okay if I rest? Ah, uh, Gin, Kana, you guys rest here too. Okay. Guess we'll hold down the fort here, again. I don't want to meow. <laughs> Gin pushed so away and approached me. Big sis, Sarah, I want you to take me. What should I do? <sighs> take him. Got it. We'll look for now together. Thanks. He can use his nose. Now, where'd you go? Uh, now that's a shout. Keep searching like that. <laughs> now! Not in my ear. Shout away from me. Uh, super sorry. I go, right, let's go in the mirror. I just need someone to freaking get this light thing. Two symmetrical rooms, huh? Seems like you're kind of puzzled here, Sarah. Might be another scary trap. Better be careful. Can't reach it. Oh, want to ride on my shoulders? Sure, please do. Uh, I was half joking, but all right. <laughs> Obtained a light bulb. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, cool. Got everything we need. Piggyback, please? <laughs> well, it's only logical. Inserted the light bulb. There, there. You did good. Mr. Policeman's not a dog. Can't proceed past the iron bars. Did Miley vanish past here? Let's go to the... this one. Looks like it's a spa. Our enemies offer some pretty good amenities. That's true. If there's a hot... if there's hot water, we can get enough moisture to live for days. Feels like we've got to stay positive while the whole world's ending, Sarah. She didn't fall down this large hole, surely. Come to think of it, where does this hole even go? I would like to believe she's safe. Oh, what the heck? A doll of Sarah? It's a spitting image, like I'm looking into a mirror. Oh, that's probably what we gotta put in the, um, in the, in the, okay, in the room, yeah. I already know it. It's eerie how detailed it is. Look, I can't look away from that intricate, the intricate, intricate, I can't say that word. It's amazing, but when was this made? You couldn't pull this off without a, lo a lot of long, detailed observation. Who could accomplish such a thing? Oh. You know, he does- he does give off that mastermind energy, though. Like, he, he does. Ask about Kai. Hey, Joe, I want to know your perspective. What do you think about Kai? Guy's no ordinary person, for sure. His eyes are dead for one, just like Mr. Policeman here. <laughs> do you think he's a bad person? Don't know. Everybody's got good parts and bad parts, right? Look, you just do what you can, Sarah. For now, we'll take this doll along. Well, uh, it's a good thing I know exactly what to do with it. All right, doll goes here. And then I go here. Now everything in the room is sy symmetrical. Well, it was before. <laughs> Something outside the room moved. Way to go, Sarah. Let's take a look outside. It's the door. The passage is open. Well, let's go. Is this gonna be the trial grounds? Oh, a key. Uh, it's got a tag. Uh, the key to the kitchen, huh? Come to think of it, the kitchen is the only place on the first floor we haven't been. 
Since the key's here, now shouldn't have been able to get in without breaking the window, but we should check just in case. Best to be simple and methodical in your investigations. Okay. Let's go then. We're going in there. We're gonna find someone else or something? Oh! Now! How does she- what? How she get in there? Stay away! Hey there, settle down now. You especially, please. Okie dokie. Uh, what did you come here for? Please leave, Sarah. I'm scared. Now is really fired, uh, riled up. Uh, ask her reasons. We're on your side. We won't do anything. What in the world happened? As if you don't know that. I won't hand over the professor. Now doesn't want- Now doesn't want him to be taken away. <laughs> do a pincer attack! Okay, <laughs> let's try that. No way, I should have- Wait, uh, KG, let's do a pincer maneuver. Is he holding my lead? Following my lead? He doesn't get it at all. I should save it just to be- Can I? Can I save it? Oh, uh, no. Let's lock the door. That won't make her nervous at all. What are you doing? Now, no one else can enter. Will you talk to us? You really didn't come here intending to take the professor? Right, please believe us. Since it's you, Sarah, I'll believe you. Well, can we come a little closer? You put your back to the door and stay quiet, please! Roger that. Sarah, why did you come here? I need to put her at ease somehow. I'm worried about you. We came looking. I was afraid that the kidnappers might do if, if you resisted them. Sarah, you're right. I'm sorry uh, that I've just con I've just caused you trouble. I've been hiding here the whole time with the lights turned off since if the kidnappers find me, they'll take him. Does this room have a light switch? Did no one else come? During the time, did anyone else come by? No, you're the first ones. I figured as much. If someone had entered, there'd be an uproar. At this point, I think we can talk properly. Uh, it's hard to say things like this, but... I understand. I understand what I'm doing is wrong. I've caused you all trouble. I shouldn't be here acting like this forever, should I? What should I do? Um, you should let go of the box. That's not possible, I just can't do it. I just have to persuade her. Tell her right again. Did you know the stairs going to the second floor appeared? You don't mean an exit? No, the rooms here are just full of tricks. In the process of searching for you, Gin got trapped in a cage. Gin? He was very frightened by it. That's my fault, isn't it? I know how you feel now. But you can't be exposing the people who are alive to danger too. The people who are alive, that's wording. Professor Mishima is dead. It's the truth! We can't lie anymore. She was in denial. Someone had to tell her. He was my favorite character too. That's right, of course. I kept questioning him in the dark, but the professor didn't say a word. No matter how busy he was, the professor I knew always answered my questions with a smile. I was in the middle of painting it, a portrait of the professor that I meant to give him as a gift, but I can't give it to him anymore, can I? <laughs> Will you quit painting? You should finish it. You should finish it. He must have taught you so many things about art, about studying, and about how important things are. He knows Profe- Who knows Professor Mishima best out of anyone? Now, you should make it back alive and finish that painting yourself. Yeah, we gotta give her a reason to survive. I want to paint it. Until I finish that portrait, I can't die. Right. It's sad. But this? This box, I'll let go of it now. The door's open. You should go see Re uh, Reko, because she was the most worried. Yes. Sorry about what I said, Mr. Policeman. Well, we better give her all a two, right? Oh, well, sir, if you don't want to peek inside, you can look away. Inside must be the professor. Look inside. Ugh. You're really something, kid. I touched the box and the lid opened easily. Huh? There was nothing in the box? What's going on here? No buts about it. It's totally empty. Was now Julie protecting a box that had nothing in it? Oh, it's like they, they they took it. The kidnappers took in it. Took it. This means the kidnappers took it, didn't they? By the way, now was acting. Uh, I'd have to think she never let go of it. Getting hard to tell what's the truth, even as far as Mishima's death. Nah, I just feel like saying that. Miley, wasn't it? If Mishima could revive like her, just sticking his head on, I'm sure now would be glad. Like a doll, huh? Do you think right do you think Miley's really a doll? It's out of the question. No way she's a doll. Well, no point in worrying about it. Let's just tuck let's keep tucking along and just pursue the truth. Oh. <laughs> Please use as you wish. Okay. 
361802. Oh. Sarah? Reko. I uh, heard you found now. You did good. Thanks. I'm sorry for worrying you. Don't sweat it, especially because you're safe. But now, we're your buds, right? Don't take off anymore, okay? But You don't want to be? If my makeup's scary, I can take it off. <laughs> That's not it. I'm very happy. All right. Wait, why does it say two now? What? That said nine before. The doorknob has a dial to insert a number on it. Uh, wait, what does this say? Wait, I don't know. I don't know what to put. Oh, 612. Okay, let's try that. Hey, freaking worked. Oh, I get it. That's why there's different colors. Okay. So now all we have to do is enter the number that's the opposite. So 380. Yeah. Call me Einstein. Okay. Shackles. That's always good. I wonder what this is. Plus the air in this room feels heavy. I'm going to leave this room. Again? Well, this place is no good. How do you mean that? I can sense a bad feeling somehow, so please tell me. I'm betting someone died here. I can faintly smell blood. And since there's dust, it was wiped a little while ago. I'd put the same time around. Yeah, maybe the first trial? Once I became cogni cognizant of it, I understood. The removable raw stench of blood and the air that repulsed my instincts. It's disgusting. I want to throw up. Oh, jeez. Don't imagine it. Feeling your limits, Sarah. KG? I'll check every inch of this room. You get out, Sarah. But I'm saying trust in your friendly policeman. With a gentle push on the back, I proceeded to exit the room. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? Like It's been planted in me, the fear of death. Electric paper shredder. It's a machine for shredding documents. I know what that is. How about it, Sarah? You see anything of interest? Uh just garbage. Probably just a waste of time. Check it out, huh? Or check it all, huh? Re recreating the documents from all this paper would be very time-consuming. I'll try searching it. Okay. Gin seems all fired up. I'll watch him until he's done. A large blackboard with nothing written. And a light. Okay. Well, nothing I can do. Alright, well, I gotta go back. Hey, Miss Sarah. So, and... Aren't you tired? It's not good to work too hard. You should take some time to rest. Uh, I'm still energetic. I can't rest. Not while everyone else is working hard. I say rest is a valuable option in its own right. Still, you never know who will come attacking you, so I know how you feel, Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah, I don't think you should go to the first floor on your own. But, uh, hey, Joe's your best friend, right? Ooh, he says it's Joe. I'll say, he seems like a best friend. Which means he's friend zone. <laughs> but, uh, he can be a bit stupid in ways, but he's a really good guy. Uh-huh. Miss Sarah, you trust Joe, then. So, what about Joe? Miss Sarah? He came close to me and spoke in a whisper. Do you remember that boat? I had nearly forgotten. No, I've been trying to forget it. The second trial, the vote in which Professor Mishima died. Excluding my own vote, Mishima got three votes so and now got zero votes. And everyone else got one vote each. But of course, we thought that choice held no meaning. You see, I voted for Joe. Do you know what that means? Oh, sorry, that must have bewildered you. We'll be going now. Catch you later. So he definitely doesn't trust him. Okay. Joe didn't vote for himself. Okay, maybe now we can go back. Wait, they said not to come here, but... Oh, hey! What a nice searing, uh, searing color! If you want to search, do as you please. I won't assist, but I won't impede either. What else could I be looking for? Joe's sitting down wearily. He's staring at something in his hand. Peek unseen from behind. Seems like a card? Don't tell me! Oh, Sarah, you startled, startled me! What are you looking at? This was inside my pocket. That's... It was a photo of me, Joe, and Ryoko. We were at a cafe having fun chat together. I'm so photogenic! <laughs> hey, you said it! Ryoko looks cute here, too. Sure does. I forgot, honestly, who that was. Is that, like, his girlfriend? Or, like, a friend of hers? Of his? Man, I miss her. Sure enough, it's unthinkable for me to suspect Joe. So, he must just be seeing shadows uh, where they there aren't any. Suddenly, I thought back. Joe got involved in this because he came to my house. If he'd gone straight home, wouldn't he be living life as normal right now? How late of a realization is that? I was so focused on myself. I didn't consider Joe's perspective for a second. I had my first proper date with Ryoko that day. Yep, I knew it. I was so nervous. Okay, I do remember him, like, going out with somebody, so I guess that was her. I was so nervous, I couldn't talk at all. Somehow, we ended up talking about you, Sarah. Do you remember the time you tried to sit on a traffic cone and fell on your butt? I couldn't stop laughing. You promised you wouldn't tell anyone. It sure, it sure got the conversation lively. 
So then I sort of asked her why she decided to go out with me. What do you mean, why? I mean, you didn't know me that much, yeah? Really? Well, no friend of Sarah's could be a bad person, you know. Funny, right? Because I was thinking the same thing. Ryoko uh, and me made an agreement. If anyone makes Sarah cry, we'll make them cry. So like, stop looking like you're on the verge of tears. I mean, Joe, you're... If I make you cry, Sarah, that means Ryoko's gotta sock me, right? You're right, Joe. I'd better have you protect me. Yeah, whenever I say a traffic cone, I'll exterminate it. Erase that from your memory, I mean it! The story is building, it is building, but... I am ready. I'm ready for this trial, though. Or whatever you call it. Sarah, uh, Chidoin, there was a noise on the second floor, what happened? Huh? I'll go look. <laughs> you go. <laughs> I'll go look, gone be you! Um, I will remain here. I'll leave him alone. Oh, it's open, what the heck? The red door is open and shines a bright white light. The counter above the door is zero. Don't tell me that people on the second floor went in there. Take a look. I'll just take a peek. I carefully stuck my head into the room. And then... Someone shoved me from behind. What? With that, I lost consciousness. Must be filled with that gas. Oh, what the heck? Not her. Not her again. Miley's pictured on the screen. Everyone, how are you feeling? What did you do to me? This is a pre-recorded video, so I'm afraid I can't answer your questions. Allow me to thank you truly for taking part in the main game. This is a waiting room prepared for participants, the last supper room. You may fill yourself with food before the game or form a strategy. Use it however you, pr you please. What is she saying? Those who successfully beat the main game could proceed to the next floor. Note that those who do not exit their waiting rooms once the main game starts will die as a penalty. Do keep that in mind. The next floor? I will now explain the rules of the main game. Everyone, please take the card you obtained while exploring and touch it uh, to the screen. Card? Well, I got like two of them. You have your card, yes? Now I will begin uh, to explain. The basic rules are profoundly simple. One person will be selected by majority vote, and that person will die. That is all. What are you calling simple? The vote will be split into two parts. Through the first round, the preliminary vote, half the total will be chosen as candidates. Currently 11 are alive, so this will be 5. A final vote will be held using these deciding the ultimate victim. In short, the victim is decided by gradually narrowing it down from 11 people to 5 to 1. Of course, even those not chosen as candidates will participate in the vote itself. Please do kill of your own volitions. Stop it! Stop this! However, there are holes in this game. We do not care for intenseless games of luck. A tentless. Such worthless, such worthless acts of using rock, paper, scissors to fairly decide the victim are forbidden. And so, everyone please take out your cards. So they're gonna make us choose. There are four, there are four rules given uh, by cards. And the first is the commoner. This is meaningless card with no power, power at all. The second is the key master. And oh my, it's a terrifying role indeed, for if chosen as the victim, everyone will perish. Oh, okay. That's my card. Third is the Sage. By holy divination, they know who the Keymaster is. A very lucky roll. Congratulations to its owner. That's not fair. <laughs> Fourth is the Sacrifice. Amazingly, this curious card allows the person to survive only if chosen as the victim. Okay, so that's the best card. What? Which means if they're not chosen, they die. However, there are positives as well. <laughs> what the heck is this game? The sacrifice alone gets two votes, and also, if they win, they can escape alive with the person of their choice. Well, but in that case, all the others will perish, so good luck. There is one key master, sage, and sacrifice. Each, all, the rest are commoners. Committed to... Committed to memory, yes? Hold on. Does this mean could it be? So at minimum, two people will die. Everyone, do your best not to be one of them. No way. I felt like I heard something that moment. The loud sound of someone fainting over the room over. They must have heard. <laughs> God, how could I have an appetite right now? In the end, we're being held in the palms of the kidnapper's hands. Our heads can fly off at their single whim. There might not be any exit. We'll just be toyed with and killed until they're satisfied. In that case, we're all just going to... It's a strange thing. I felt death was near again and again. Maybe there was no chance left to be afraid. I don't want to die. Even at this point, I want to keep going. I'm coming to hate my own positivity. I'll do whatever I can. If I mess up, everyone will die. The worst of cards seems to be pushing me on. 
I only drank a little water, and the time arrived. Dude, I'd be hungry. It's now time. Please head to the grounds by the door near the screen, everyone. I wish you luck. All right, guys. Wow, it's about to start. In front of me were strange desks about waist high. Here we are. KG. You guys, that was fast. Hmm, all of you so pale. <laughs> they are- yeah, everyone's pale all the time. Why is this happening? A desperate game is beginning, and yet we have to play it. Ah, so you'll take part after all. Miley, you. Please take a good look at the desk, everyone. I'd rather in a rather interesting setup, isn't it? They are reverse hourglasses, most curious indeed. When the hourglasses all have reached the top, the discussion will end. You have 70 minutes until the preliminary vote. After that, you can discuss for 20 minutes before the final vote. Well then, shall the discussion begin? Hold up, Kana. Kana ain't here. Oh dear, so some would choose not to part in something so enjoyable. Hold up, Kana will definitely come. Time is limited. That is what she chose, and that is the end of the matter. Miss Sarah, have you made the wrong... You haven't made the wrong choice, have you? Did I make the wrong choice? Well then, let us start the main game. Everyone, stand whichever desk you like. Except, that means she's dead, right? We were urged to head for the desks. Now then, you seem to be prepared. Let the main game begin. Please wait. Please wait! Um, I'm also... Kana! You're welcome, Kana Kaza, which she regrets. Can't wait until after taking part. Let this wonderful, wonderful main game begin! Oh, I thought she was gonna die. Candidate votes! It's gonna get freaking crazy, guys! Okay, obviously, this has uh, been a while, right? I'm gonna go ahead and end this here, guys. If you wanna see the next episode, uh, I don't know how long these things are gonna be. I don't know what to expect. All I, I just, all I know is Danganronpa and those take forever. So I'm guessing this will probably be a while too. So we're gonna save it for next episode. Make sure you smash like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I would love to do more. I really like this game. So I hope to see you guys' support. All right, bye.